let's go to number three. Uh, Brad, come on in. Hey, Berto. How you doing? I am doing fine, sir. Talk yeah. to me. I've been listening to you, you know, for a little while, and I hear you and others on this station say that health care is a right. Am I correct on that? Yes, sir. You bet your life you're right on that. Okay, well, maybe I just skimmed too quickly, but when I read the Constitution, I didn't ever see the word health care in it. So how is it a right? Well, let me tell you, it also, the, the Constitution also talk about the welfare of everybody, okay? So let's, <laughs> let's, let's look at the whole Constitution. You see, what happens is this. People who want to restrict your rights usually mm -hmm. read certain sections of the Constitution. Yeah. Those of us who want to expand your rights, we look at mm -hmm. the Constitution and say, the welfare and all these other things that the Constitution talks about. But let me go a little bit further than that. And you're not going to like this answer, but I don't give a damn about whether it is literally in the Constitution or not. I don't give a flying you know what. And let me tell you why. Because more than the Constitution, I am a humanist. More than the Constitution, I believe in humanity. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the reason the Constitution have the Second Amendment that a lot of people are using to claim they can get a gun that can murder as many people, I am saying if I had the right to do it, I will get rid of those guns that are hurting people. And I don't care what the hell the Constitution says in that regard, because I care more about people than a damn document. That's called a dictatorship. I don't care what you call it, though. I call it supporting humanity. That's you a can, dictatorship. You know, no, 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 sir, my dear brother. It's not up to, to, for example, the Supreme yes, Court and the judicial branch. It doesn't not matter what's right or wrong. It's what matters is the Constitution. Sir, I love you. My, let, me, let me tell you something. I love your devotion to a piece of paper. I love it. But let me tell you something, my brother. I have more devotion to you as a human being. Well, mm -hmm. Brad, Brad, I love you more than I love that piece of paper. And I tell you yeah, what, so I, if I have hold, abortion, it's going to blow up your abortion clinic because they love you more. My, my bro they say you can't take the law in your own hands. My brother, you need to have the rule of law. My, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If I find, if, if there's something that's going to hurt you, Brad, and I have to go around to protect you, I'm going to mm -hmm. do it. So know that not everybody's going to be as literal as you are. Okay. And when you don't need me to be literal because your butt's on fire, okay. know that there's going to be some Egbertos and there's going to be some that's, other people that's, around that's going to be there like for you, that. brother. That's nice. And you know what? I'm going to be drinking a Coca-Cola today, uh -huh. and that's bad for you because the high-fructose <laughs> corn syrup. So why don't you come over here and, and empty it out? Let me tell you something. I won't do that because that is different, right? Uh, Why's it different? Let me tell See, you what. Four people die from diabetes in one day. Yes, They yes. die from, you know, but brother, Turn, you know, other things. My I mean, brother, they're dying a lot my brother, diabetes. my brother, my brother. That's not that good example, brother. That's not a good example. Use another one. I could have thought of a better example than that one, but that's not. How a about good automobiles? One. More people die from cars. No, oh, you're talking. That's the one that I was thinking about. And you know what? Uh, that that is that is an interesting scenario, right? Because. Uh, I could then equate that to walking or running, that I could run into somebody and somebody, you know, there, there's a point mm -hmm. where there's a point where things kind of get silly. Right. So, I mean, um, and I'm talking about myself, too. Right. I can I can I can get sufficiently silly liberal. I can get there. And why I always tell people when, you know, I go to a conferences all over the country. Right. And I'll tell folks, you know, I love conservatives for one specific reasons. They force me not to make my progressivity, my liberalism, take me to the silly. You get what I'm saying? So I need you. You're a conservative. I need you. But I'm not one of these Tea Party. I, used, I know, I'm you, George, I know I'm brother, 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 okay? brother. You don't have to tell me that you're not a Tea Party because the Tea Party folks are my buddies too. The Trumps, those are crazy. The, no, those are crazy. That's the <laughs> society 2.0, okay? That's not me. I, listen, let me tell you something. I don't only want to talk to the choir. So... When you tell me that, you know, I went to a Daniel Boone stuff in, in, in West Texas, uh, not West Texas, West, West Houston, where the descendants of Daniel Boone's who were big time tea party uh, folk mm. are out there, right? Mm -hmm. And we sat down in a, in, in a, in a, in a honky tonky bar and, you know, people see this black, black dude walk in there and they were like, what the hell is he doing here? And my thing was like, I came to understand you guys, man. And we sat down and had good conversation. Some, some things got changed, not everything. You know, they, some of their mentality stayed the same. 
But my thing is engagement always solves the problem. Now, when it comes to you and your, your view on the Constitution, I definitely don't, I don't hold a loyalty to a document that once held me as three-fifths of a person. I don't uh, hold loyalty to a document that had to be changed to give me rights. So I don't hold that grand loyalty. You know, we had to fight to get those changes. I don't hold that, you know, a lot of people, well, it's, I live by the Constitution. Well, you know, the Constitution wasn't all that damn good to me. So, I mean, the thing about it is, I want, to, I want women to also know the Constitution wasn't all that damn good to you either. Black people got the right to vote before you did get the vo right to vote. So what I'm saying is that, is a, that document, the Constitution, that you want everybody to be so enthralled with isn't some great document that was so good that it meant very much to everybody. It meant a whole lot to a very select yeah. few in this country. Yeah.